Like a lot of people, I thought that when you're done building your tiny house and you're ready to park it somewhere, you basically just roll it onto the site and uh, you drop the tongue jack and it basically sits there nice and steady. You might have some stairs that you set up or something like that, but because of the axles and because of the tongue jack, everything's nice and steady. But that's not the case. When you don't have proper stabilization, you get a lot of... Uh, what I'll call sea legs. It kind of feels like you're on a boat. You rock back and forth and forward and, and, and back. And it's not that you're not steady. It's not that you're going to, you know, your, your house is going to fall one way or the other, but you just don't feel as steady as you should. That's why a lot of people, including myself, added things like scissor jacks to the four corners of the trailer. Now that's a great way to go, but you can also do some other things. Something we've seen a lot of people do lately, and something I want to talk about today, which also uh, translates over into the RV world, and that is using, using uh, stabilization jacks. This is a stabilization jack, or a stabilizer jack, if you will. Uh, it's actually pretty simple, and you know, to the touch, it feels kind of like just regular old plastic, and you think to yourself, how can this really do anything? But it's because of the design that it uh, is able to really stabilize your trailer. Now, it's kind of a, a pyramid design, and then you've got this nice big, uh, this nice big lag, threaded lag bolt with a, a nut on the end, and then you've got a, a very flat surface at the top. And what this essentially does, and by the way, this is just a regular stabilizer jack, can come from anywhere from Walmart to eTrailer.com to Camping World, any of those. So what you're going to do is you take this threaded uh, screw or this threaded lag bolt, and you simply put it into the hole in the stabilizer jack, like so, making sure that the hex, uh, hex nut lines up with the hex head. And then you've got a nice firm piece, and you just adjust the threads so that this shaft goes up and down, allowing for stabilization on your trailer. So you're just going to screw it or unscrew it until it's tight to the frame of your trailer. So, you know what, let's just take a look and see how it works in action. So I've got my piece of hardwood, which I've actually put a little bit of a circle so it'll sit right on top of this uh, flat plane here on the stabilizer jack and it's channeled at the top so it fits right over the frame and all I'm going to do to begin with is I'm just going to manually crank the threaded rod up and down until I get to a place that I really like so this is about as soon as the wood is able to go underneath of the frame I am then going to just tighten it up by hand, which it's almost there. It can seem tedious at first, but then it's going to start to get tighter, and you're going to get to a place where you just can't tighten it by hand anymore. Now, you may want to stop right there, but what's going to happen is while you're actually living inside the trailer, the natural movement inside the trailer is going to cause this stabilizer jack to settle some, and you're not going to have a really tight fit. So that's where you're going to want to use the little pin that was provided in the package to really tighten this uh, uh, threaded rod as best you can. Now. I actually use a screwdriver because I like it better. It's got a little more handle, which gives me a little more torque. I just place it in the pin like so, and I just continue to use it to crank that threaded rod around until it's nice and tight. Once it's tight, you can shake on the stabilizer jack like that and see that you've got a really nice stable fit that's supporting your trailer. So while stabilizer jacks really are a simple thing, a very affordable thing, they're really an essential thing to having a nice, stable home. So thanks for joining us for another vlog. Remember, while you're here, you might as well subscribe to our channel, get updated on when we have new videos. And if you liked what you saw today and you want to see more, give us a big thumbs up and we'll be sure to keep giving you what you want.